Let me see. Let me put on my x-ray goggles to see if I can see who you were talking to. So y'all know I be having story times for y'all sometimes. So hold on. Let me click a little ticket. So today I was minding my business. Because that's what I do. I mean, for the most part, I'm always minding my business. Like, I don't be minding other people's business. So, out of nowhere, on Instagram come a message. Somebody slide in my DMs. I'm like, who is this? So, I open it up. And lo and behold, why am I drinking? Oh. Lo and behold, it's the face of a guy that I used to kick it with, right? He like, hey, what's up? So I send back an emoji <laughs> like this, right? So he was like, so that's how we speak now is through emojis. So I sent another emoji like this, right? So out of, out of nowhere, he gonna say, I'm gonna just say what he said, fuck you. Oh, 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 bruh. Hold on. Let me see. Let me put on my x-ray goggles to see if I can see who you were talking to. I said, <laughs> I, I, well, okay, how I responded was certain kind of fellas always be in their feelings and then I blocked them, right? My thing is this. My block and delete game is so strong y'all be sitting up going back and forth with people and talking to people about why they said what they said when they said how they said online my block game is so efficient online and in real life because i feel like this i protect my peace i protect my personal space and i'm not about to let you come in my personal space I'm not about to let you attack my peace. I'm not about to let you just come in my little circle, my little bubble, and just do what you want to go and do. You're not about to come in here and cuss me out. You're not about to come in here busting me. You're not about to come in here hollering me, baby. I am a full grown, fully grown, reproductive ability and everything woman. Do you understand? I've not got a spanking in about 20 years. So what makes you think I'm going to let you come and talk to me any kind of way? See, people feel like they can say what they want to say and that's just it. But in my mind, I'm like this. That's not just it. Because I got two options. I can respond and use my mouth. Or I can just delete the situation entire, entirely. So to prevent from me being in trouble with God and to prevent from me saying something that will really hurt your feelings and shift your entire existence, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, we just gonna go ahead and just act like this ain't even, this didn't even happen. We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna rewind the tape. None of this ever happened. I'm gonna delete you. I'm gonna delete the conversation. I'm gonna block you. And then we just go on with our lives. Y'all be spending too much time online trying to figure out why they say that about me. Why, why they, who? And responding. For example, I saw Cardi B going back and forth with Azealia Banks. Baby, you are a whole millionaire with a whole hit album, with a whole baby on the way, with a, a whole uh, new life, and you sitting here worrying about what a, a person like Azealia Banks is saying? Like, for real? <coughs> I don't know how y'all do that. I don't know how y'all give somebody that much control or that much weight to mean that much to you, especially somebody who you've never met. Somebody who you've never met. Somebody who you probably never will meet. Somebody who doesn't pay your bills. Somebody who you are not sleeping with. Somebody who does not live in your household. Somebody who does not, that's that same police officer from yesterday. I mean, he just stay in that spot. He's sneaky. Anyway, you giving too much people control over something that they should not have control over. Baby, I'm gonna need y'all to get control of y'all feelings, of y'all's emotions, of y'all's mental state, and understand that people have an ability to try to get what they can out of you, okay? 
when they can get it out of you by any means necessary. And if that means manipulation, if that means domination, if that means intimidation, they'll do it. If they can control you into doing what they want you to do, they will do it. You have to be very strategic and mindful in how you interact with people. If you don't, people will treat you and do all kinds of things to you and you'll be sitting on the other side like, how did this even happen? When did this happen? Who, how, how, who? What, when, where, why, what, who? That's how you'll be, you'll be so confused. I'm in this group on Facebook and these girls <coughs> coming here with their, their uh, relationship problems. Baby, in my mind, I'm like, how did it even get this far? How did we even get here? What road did we travel in order to get at this location? You got a babies by men who don't care nothing about you. Babies by men who treat you any kind of way, leave you all out. <laughs> this one girl said her man left her. She had got drugged at the club, like drugs. Like somebody put drugs in her drink at the club. Her man left her there at the club. She said she woke up the next morning on the side of the road. And she came in the group on Facebook saying, well, should I get rid of him? You shouldn't even showed up with that question. Because every woman in the group, like, drug her for filth. You already know that you should have got, you should have been got rid of that guy. If he left you on the side of the road, <laughs> he didn't even see if, he didn't even take the time to find out if you were okay. He left you at the club, drugged, and then the next morning you show up at home. This is a real story, y'all. The next morning she said she showed up at home and he accused her of being out sleeping with somebody. But she was actually passed out on the side of the road from being drugged at the club. Number one, that's why I don't do clubs. Number two, that's why I don't do relationships. <laughs> I do relationships, but I'm not playing them with the rules that people got out here now. Y'all just be accepting anything and everything when it comes to relationship. If he slick, say that he like you, if he even show any kind of interest to you, you all in love head over heels. Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Make that man prove himself. Make that man prove what he's saying. Y'all take what he says on Tuesday as Go. I need to make sure that what he said on Tuesday is still true on Thursday and still true on Sunday and still true three months from now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Y'all just listen to whatever fall out of these men's mouth. Especially if your man get drunk and high. You don't know what you don't know the truth of what he's saying. Because he might say something on one day when he drunk or high and it wasn't really the truth. Do you understand what I'm saying? And y'all just be falling for it. Y'all be going for the okie doke. And I'm just like, really? Not saying go into a situation just skeptical like, oh my gosh, they're going to do something bad to me. No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is keep your eyes and your ears open. Open. Not so in love. Not so, oh my gosh, I haven't had a boyfriend in a while. Not so, oh my goodness. Uh, we get this flex on the gram and say we in together. Relationship goals. And you got just a piece of man. You don't even have a man. You got a piece of man. A piece of man, a piece of boy, to be honest. Because the way y'all be getting treated out here, I can't understand it. I cannot understand it. I can't understand it. I'm so glad. Y'all better be lucky I don't got no girl. Because the way I'll be raising her, she would not be for the games. She would not be for the games and she would not be for the BS. She would be enough for none of it. For none of it would she be here. She would be here. She would be there. She'd be gone. She'd be everywhere but here for it. Do you understand? Y'all need to get some backbones or y'all need to really reevaluate your self-esteem or y'all need to really take a good look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, I actually am a cute girl, so why am I putting up with this BS that this man is putting down? Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Did y'all not have people love y'all on the growing up? Did y'all not have people encourage y'all? Did y'all not have people tell you you were wonderful? What's the deal? Talk to me, sis. Put it in the comment box. 
I need to hear it because I don't understand it because the stuff that I see a lot of these women going through I'm not going through it period point blank as long as I'm able to work and make my own money have my own vehicle I have the capability of all my limbs I'm not going through it you're not gonna just make me miserable because you just want to be miserable you're not gonna make my life a living heck because you're immature and haven't grown up yet you're not gonna do it I'm not gonna give you that much authority and control over my life y'all be giving away your power y'all be giving away your power and then be wanting to write in these Facebook groups about oh my goodness I don't know why he did it I don't know why he did it because you let him do it because you let him do it because you let him feel it was okay to do it so with all that being what it is sis sis sir, I'm gonna need you to make a way out of no way and find a way to do better because these men got y'all out here looking real foolish I'm talking about real foolish when you come in these groups and you start talking about how your man treating you girl you look foolish foolish and yes granted we've all had our opportunities of looking foolish but when you consistently looking foolish and you've been looking foolish for the last 10 years ain't nobody's fault but your own you like looking foolish that's what it is it fits well it fits well it's your color it's the right cut it is hugging you in all the right places baby that foolish looking outfit you got on I'm going to need y'all to do better. Not trying to be harsh, but I'm going to just need y'all to do better. Okay? I'm going to need y'all to get a backbone. Uh, find a, uh, something. Find something to make you stand up straight and understand that you are a woman. And you should be treated as such. Not as a second-rate citizen. Not as somebody who doesn't deserve respect. No. Not today. Not yesterday. And not ever. Okay? I love y'all. So that's why I tell y'all what I tell y'all. Yeah, but y'all out here doing way too much. Just for the sake of saying I have a man. I don't understand that. Putting yourself in bad situations. Having kids by a man that won't fully commit to you. Like, why? It's 8.5 billion people out here in this world. And you choose to just be mistreated by this one. When I'm sure there's someone who will love you, respect you. The relationship will mutually benefit you. But you're choosing this one? Girl, put on your Nikes, Adidas, New Balance, Yeezys, whatever you got to put on. And get to running. Run as far away from that man as you possibly can. If it's not a good relationship, it's not a good situation, run. Run. Run like Jackie Joyner Kersey. Run like Carl Lewis. Run like an Olympic speed racer. Do you understand? I know y'all probably ain't had that big sister, that auntie to tell y'all, but I'm going to be big sis Tani Tanisha. I'm going to be auntie Tanisha. Stop letting these men get over on y'all. If it's a good relationship that you have, great. But if it's not, stop staying in these sour relationships just for the sake of saying I have a man. Because at the end of the day, you're losing time. You're losing energy. You're losing tears for nothing. You always want to keep your eyes open and keep your ears open with whoever you're dealing with. Whether it's a relationship, family, business. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. And keep your mind open. And process things. Stop being so emotional and going with your emotions. Start going with your logic. Think this thing through. Sometimes I listen to ladies and they tell me stories and I'm just like, you didn't think this through. You were not thinking. I don't know if he had you dingling matized or whatever he had, but you didn't think this through. You didn't. So again, not trying to be harsh. I'm just telling you what's up and what's going on out here in these streets. So until next time, <laughs> this is your girl Tanisha giving you a big old hug from afar. Bye.